Hi, Grade Three Fours. Uh, welcome to Remote Learning 4.0. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, today, I want to show you how to draw the paintbrush character that I've shown you on the art grid. So, I'm going to copy him from my phone. You can see the image that I have here. So, the first step would be you need to set up your workspace. So, I've got a grey lid, I've got a fine liner and a black marker in case I need them for the outlining. And you can use pencil, colored pencil or colored texture, or oil pastel or paint for that colored rainbow bit. So I'm going to turn the paper this way, portrait. And I'm just going to pop my screen down so that you can see what I'm drawing. And I'm going to draw the top part of our paintbrush character to begin with. I'm going to draw this bit here, the body, the long bit, and then I'm going to draw the nib. And then I'm going to put the details in afterwards. So I'd recommend printing out a picture, the art grid, and then trying to copy from there. So we're starting from the top of the page. I'm hoping you can all see this. I'm going to start from the right hand corner so there's enough room. I'm going to do a nice long round stroke for the paintbrush character. It doesn't have to be a perfect line. You can always do some fixing up if you need to. Turn another little line. I need a straight bit down the bottom. And then I'm going to try and connect up this dot here with this bit here. And I want to make it nice and round. So I'm going to go up in a curve like fashion and then up to the top. So I've got my nib here. And then we've got the bottom of the paintbrush. Let me do a little straight line here. I'm just going to hold that up for you to see. Hopefully you can see that there. Um, I'll put that back down. So I'm going to do the bottom of that paintbrush now. So if I just move this back a little bit, I'm going to put a little straight line down the bottom and go across. And then we've got to do the actual brush bit. So I'm going to do a nice curved line going around, another curved line on the outside there, and I need some little lines for those brush strokes just in between. Some nice little curved bits here. So hopefully the lighting allows you to see what I've drawn there. Okay, I've made my brush a little bit fatter because I thought I'd make the character look a bit more plump. But you can have him skinny or wide, whatever you would like to do. It's fine. So I'm going to do the character's eyes now. And I'm going to start sort of well, three quarters towards the top. A nice round circle, one eye. Another round circle for the other. Need a little highlight in between where the light hits the eyes and little circles. I'm going to put a little one here as well. We have his mouth underneath it, so straight line going across. Nice long bit down the bottom and around, and his tongue. And then he's got a little bit of a nose happening there. He's got some eyebrows as well. You may want to add some features. Maybe you would like eyelashes. Um, you might want to put some cheeks in some freckles, you can do whatever you like. You can even have arms if you want. Maybe I'll have some little arms out to the side. So, so far I have this. Okay. And I'll pop that down so you can see the rest of it. Now, I have made a rookie error here where I haven't given myself much room to put that swirly bit in. So, I'm going to have to squish that in. I would suggest you have a large bit of paper. Okay, so I'm going to do the round swirly bit on the outside there. Swirl around. Now, your swirl doesn't have to be like mine or the one in the picture. You could do an S shape, a G shape any random circular motion. So don't get too caught up on it. Mine looks like this at the moment. 
And now what I'm going to do is do some color again. So what I would suggest is you get your black texture or fine liner, whatever you've got at home, and you do an outline, whoops, do an outline for the paintbrush. So I'm just doing the outside bits there. You can neaten up any mistakes that you made. You can also rub out any grey lead mistakes. Make it look a little bit neater. So I'm just outlining. And the mouth might need to just change over from your fine liner, from sorry, the texture to the fine liner, just to get more detail. So that's up to you. I find it easier to do the facial expression bits in fine liner. But not everyone will have a fine liner, so that's fine. Okay, so I've done the little details and I'm just going to outline the eyes in Jexter. Okay. All right, so that's how he's looking. And I'm not going to outline the curvy bit because I would like that simply just in colour. So I'm going to do some colouring in with some grey lead first. Oh, coloured pencil, should I say. Got grey lead on the brain. Um, so I'm going to use red for the tongue. And I'm going to get my black texture again and colour in the inside of the eyes to make it nice and bold. Show you what that looks like in a minute. I'm happy with my character at the moment. He or she looks a bit like a Shopkins character. All right. And I might even fill in the eyebrows now with a, the black marker that I was using. All right. So now I'm going to colour in with coloured pencil. I want to use a dark one, probably black or brown would be great for the brush. So I've decided I'm going to use brown for this one. So I've got a dark brown colour. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try and show a little bit of uh, tone here. So darks and lights, some shadow. So I'm going to have a little bit of a dark bit going on here and lighter shading here to show that the light is hitting in a certain area of the brush. Makes it look a bit more 3D, a bit more effective. And I'm going to try and use some circular colouring in motions to make it look a bit more round like a brush. Okay, so if you would like to try and do the same, that's also fine. So this is called colour rendering. It's not a skill that I have taught any of you yet, but it's something that I do like to teach in grade 5, 6 because I think it's an effective colouring technique that will see you do well in high school and make your work look more effective. So I haven't really done much so far, but I've started to color in the edge there and I'm making it nice and dark and round. Now I'm doing this quite quickly, so it's probably not my neatest work, but it is nice to have a little bit of texture anyway. So I don't really mind the messy look, I'll be honest. And Okay, I don't want to spend too much more time on that because I know you're going to be eager to colour in your cell. So I will leave that dark edge there and I'll do a little bit more down the bottom here. Just a little bit down here. The light's going to be hitting this side of the brush. Okay, so that will be your light area. Okay, so now I'm just going to use a circular colouring motion going round with my strokes to give it that 
cylindrical shape, as we call it. So you can spend a bit more time with your colouring in. I don't want to take up too much of your time here. But he's looking a bit more 3D now, a bit more realistic, even for a character, a cartoon character. Okay. All right. So that's how he's looking at the moment. So if you want to add more colour, you can. I'm going to colour in the cheeks as well and the inside of the mouth. In the picture, the mouth is actually coloured in black, so I forgot to do that bit. I will now fill his mouth in. Okay, so there we go. And now I think I will need to colour in his arms. I almost forgot about them. Okay, and the bottom bit should be a black colour. I'm not sure where my black pencil has disappeared to. Here we go. Found one. And I'm going to just do some colouring in down the bottom there. I'm going to do a little bit of dark and light. Okay, and so pressing hard with the pencil and lifting the pencil off to make it a little bit lighter to get some tones in there, some darks and some lights to make it look a bit more 3D, a bit more realistic, a bit more interesting. Make the drawing stand out a little bit more. Okay, I've left a little bit of white in there too to make it a bit more effective. Okay, and I'm going to colour in the cheeks. I think I'll use pink for the cheeks. I've used red for the tongue. Okay, and now we're ready for the coloured bit. So, as I said, you could use oil pastel. I've got oil pastels here. Um, depends on if you've got them. You can use coloured pencil or texture. Use whatever you want. If you're using coloured pencil, there is the advantage of being able to blend colours together. As you can see there, they've sort of started to blend a little bit where they cross over. Um, you can also do that a little bit with oil pastels, but... See so here you go. All right, so I'm going to start off with red, red pencil to begin with, and the red's going to start here. So I'm going to colour in pretty hard. I'm going to press pretty hard. And I'm not going to press so hard anymore because I want the next colour to blend. So I've got that at the moment. I would like the orange now. I want to start fairly light with the orange, not press so hard. So the, the colours kind of blend a little bit, so they're not as obvious where they cross over. That's what I mean by blending, and that's what's col called colour rendering. Okay, so that's what I was mentioning before. It's a skill that takes a lot of practice, but... Tell you what, it's very satisfying and, um, yeah, very effective to use. So I'm going to colour in a little bit harder now that I've done that blending part. And I'm not going to do too much more colouring. I just wanted to show you how this is starting to turn out like that. So that was a very quick guide to the paintbrush character. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and got a bit out of it. Went on for a little bit longer than what I planned, but... Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that activity and I hope to see you all soon next week. Good luck. Happy creating. Bye.